Hey everyone, welcome to PC Gaming Station. Today we're looking at the ZTE Axon Pro. I wanted to do an unboxing, but it's been over a year and I also already opened it. I got a little excited and got the box a little dirty with my hands. So I apologize for that in advance, but uh, here's a sort of semi-unboxing. This phone comes with uh, JBL audio earphones as well as a fast charging USB cable. The headphones are nice. They are very nicely cased, makes it feel more premium and the sound is very nice as well. I mean, you can hear the bass, the treble is very clear. It comes with a plus and minus volume as well as a middle OK Google button. That's just uh, set for that. That's neat, I guess. Um, I really do like this phone for a few reasons. Mostly because of the specs. So let's get started with that. The internals, it comes with a 2.0 GHz octa-core Snapdragon 810 processor with a screen size of 5.5 inches using a Gorilla Glass, the non-micro, yeah, non-microbial glass LCD screen, which is uh, set to a resolution of 2560 by 1440p, basically, with uh, 64 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of storage, which whenever you chose, I would have opted for the higher one and uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 3000 milliamp battery. So yeah, this phone comes with a camera that's equipped to shoot 4K videos, so that's very nice. The colors are very brilliant, very vibrant. And the red colors seem to not do as well, but that's just me looking at the colors very uh, closely. Everything else is very optimal. I mean, in good lighting conditions, everything comes out really well. Uh, also, it comes with a dedicated button on the side that allows you to do quick start for the camera and also snap photos on the fly. Very useful for uh, when you're on the go or just moving quickly or you got to take a quick uh, video or picture, you know, if you're traveling or something or tourism or whatever you do. Um, the front facing camera is a 8 megapixel camera and then there's two dual cameras in the back. One uh, is 13 megapixel and the other is 2 megapixel for creating blur and focus effects for after you've taken your pictures already and you wanted to focus in the front or the background. Uh, so that's neat. Um, also, you know, uh, if you've noticed, uh, I'm using a magnetic charger which is very useful if you're on the go and you don't like to get snagged or, and it just disconnects without causing any damage to your charging port. So that's very nice. Uh, it also has a blue and a green light indicator showing that it's charging or it already stopped charging and it's full. Uh, the pictures are also very, very nice. I just want to reiterate that because I've never had a phone that took, you know, high quality images or video and it's very snappy. I mean, it looks nice. The speakers are, are very loud. The brightness on the screen gets very bright and it has a battery saving mode option also. Um, if you want to see more videos like this and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get more videos in the future. Uh, for more information on these items, check the links in the description below for the Amazon links. Thanks and I'll see y'all in the next one.